Hey chefs, how's it going? Welcome to Sweet Willie's Kitchen. Today, uh, while we're waiting for the uh, Java Jiggle uh, to uh, get itself taken care of, we figured we'd make some dinner. And we're going to pull another recipe out of the Star Wars cookbook. And today it is going to be... Gritos Burritos! Uh, everybody likes, uh, a lot of people like Mexican food. I'm one of them who likes it very, very much. So we're going to start off with that. So for this recipe, what we're going to need is a uh, one can of uh, black beans, uh, frijos negros, uh, black beans. I use the low sodium, it's just something what I like to do. We're going to start with, uh, we're going to use the, uh, the grated uh, Monterey Jack cheese. I like to use the Mexican brand because of some cheddar and everything, but again, it's what your tastes are. Our next thing we'll be using, uh, we'll be slicing up some lettuce, we'll be cutting up a tomato, we'll be using a little bit of olive oil for the pan, I'm not a fan of that, we talked about that with the non-stick, and we're going to be using uh, some uh, chopped meat, uh, today we're going to be using the 8515, and with that also we'll be using four uh, flour tortillas, we're going to be using the large ones, so like the... Uh, the uh, burrito size, okay, so we're going with those. And then also a can of black olives. So to start everything off here, uh, I've got the pan getting warmed up for the, uh, the chopped meat, and they also recommend we take the tortillas, we're going to take the four tortillas, and we're going to wrap these in aluminum foil, I'm going to wrap these in aluminum foil like so. And we're going to keep these warmed up in the oven. So these are going to go in the 350 degree oven and they're just going to stay there. Uh, I'm going to put the heat to medium high, medium high, and we'll let this get up to temperature. Uh, you would season this with you know, salt and pepper. Uh, but for the uh, for our case, like I said, you can use salt and pepper to taste. Uh, I like to use a, a seasoned salt. Again, nothing, nothing, nothing set in stone. I'm just gonna season that lightly and let the uh, chopped meat start to cook. All right. So while that's going, let's get the uh, the rest of the items set. So we've got the beans here. Uh, we will simply just drain these in the uh, in the sink. Uh, just like we would do with the olives, we'll drain those in the, in the sink. And we will uh, get everything mixed up there. Alright, so be careful when you're using the thing. We can hear the meat start to cook. So this is all drained ready to be used. Okay. Start breaking this up a little bit. I'll show you how it I'll show you how it's progressing. Remember we're using medium heat, that way we're not burning anything all too much. Okay. Don't want anything to come up to temperature too fast. There we go. So Next, uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll cut the uh, we'll cut the tomato up. I'm going to use a aroma tomato. Uh, you could tell there the uh, the oblong uh, type of take off. Okay, so I'm just going to slice the edges off. I'm going to cut these into a relatively easy dice. I'm the only one who's going to be having any tomatoes on my burrito. So for the purposes of our demonstration, we'll, we'll only need one. The meat's cooking nicely. Everything looks good on this end. Cut that core out. Roma tomatoes are very beefy. They're very meaty. So they, they cut, they, they, they do well when you dice them up. So they're, they're, they are a favorite of mine for any Mexican dishes. Also Jersey tomatoes. Here we are in, uh, in August here in, uh, 
in the northeast, and uh, the Jersey tomatoes are starting to come by. All right. I'm going to use a romaine lettuce. I, I, I like that. It's uh, has a little more flavor. You use that. So this has already been washed and rinsed. So we've got some got some chopped up lettuce. We have our tomatoes and our olives. So that's going to be the uh, and our cheese. So that will be the uh, filling for the burrito. You see how this meat's going. Meat looks like it's cooking nicely. Pretty soon we're going to get a a, a camera for the oven, for the stovetop camera. Right, we'll see that in a few couple minutes. So we'll be back in a few minutes to show you how the meat looks when it's ready to be uh, everything ready to be put together. Okay, we'll see. Okay, we're back and we're ready to start putting this thing together. Right, the meat's all ready to go. Um, the tortillas in the oven. So let's take one of these off off the uh, out of the oven. Got to use a. Use something to protect yourself against the heat there. And we'll uh, put that on there. It wasn't all that hot. One of the warmed up tortillas. Oh, they're nice and warm and nice and pliable. Okay, and we'll put that on the plate like so. And here's the beef and bean mixture. We like that, so we're going to use about a fourth of that. So, boom. A good way to do that, you, you, you cut one line over, one line across, and that's a good way for your for your portioning. So that's what we'll do. We'll do that. That way everybody gets it. Actually, no, I, I, I have that. I have this. So we'll use half of the burrito. There you go. Okay. Then we need cheese, right? Who doesn't love cheese? Where's my cheese? There's my cheese. Monterey Jack mix. Some of the cheese over there. Then we finish it off with the vegetables. Put some tomatoes on here. Get some lettuce for some crunch. And then some of the olives. Olives are always good. I like olives. Yeah. For those of you who partake, care to partake, and I am one of those. Hot sauce. This is where you would add that if you so desired. Uh, I think for the case of here, I think we're just going to keep it simple. Okay. So, unrolling our tortilla. Rolling for a burrito. It's almost like the, the sushi guys. You want to get this thing over. This is the trick. Over and tucked in. See that? See how I went over and I brought it in like so. Okay, so we went over and brought it in. Now some stuff is going to leak. It's food. You can eat it. So there we go. So that's tight. Then the key is, the trick is, the other end, you fold over, right? You fold that over. So it makes a bottom. And then we roll it. And here it is. The Greedo Burrito. Let's get a let's get a bite out of this monster. You can tap it all together. So this would be a Greedo Burrito. Uh, hmm. It's beef, it's cheese, it's beans, it's tomatoes, it's lettuce. Didn't do any hot sauce, but I think I just might get a couple shots of this and I'm gonna show you that. This is my favorite hot sauce, Valentina. It's a genuine Mexican hot sauce. It's got a little more black pepper in the flavor than your traditionals, but I like good traditional Mexican hot sauces. So, for those of you subscribed, I thank you. For those who have yet to subscribe, I ask that you do now, and you'll get first cracks and all the new things that we have been doing for the past couple days. I've been doing a lot of videos out of the uh, out of this cookbook, and uh, 
I just ordered a new cookbook that we're going to do some themes in, and I'm going to be doing some things from the Disney cookbook. So we'll we'll peruse that. And we'll see what the what comes out of that. But for now, it's a Greedo burrito. So once again, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye bye.